beautiful subscribers how are you guys it has been a long time since I posted a video I want to say my last video was over a month but it has been a very long time since I have done an Invisalign update so today that is what I'm bringing to you guys a video about my Invisalign where I'm at did I get new trays am I done with my process what is going on we're dying to know so that's what I'm here to tell you guys. I'm here to spill the tea about my teeth. If you are new here, my name is Crystal. Welcome to my channel. I make videos about my teeth, my Invisalign journey, makeup, vlogs, everyday lifestyle, hair tutorials, things like that. So if you're interested in things like that, feel free to hit that subscribe button and follow me on this journey. Let's jump into the video. Did this little valentine's day look for you guys in honor of valentine's day being this weekend i have so much to update you guys on last update was a few months ago and i was supposed to be done with my invisalign treatment but unfortunately that was not the case my front tooth still had a lot of moving to do so that explains why in more trays so um, with this, in, with this update, I took my camera inside the dentist, so there'll be some clips throughout this video of certain things that I have gotten done, so I hope that is helpful to you guys. What happened when I went to the dentist? Well, I got 16 more trays, so that is a lot of trays to me because I, when I first started I got 23 then I got 23 more and I was hoping that I would have maybe like six trays remaining in what they would call that is the refinement stage but I guess that's not the case for me yet so I got 16 more I can't change I change my trays every two weeks so that is still like a little bit more than half the year left with Invisalign so let me start with taking the attachments off. So I don't want to scare anyone, but it was painful for me on my back molars. So they use the drill. So her taking them off didn't hurt with the drill. They take, take them off with the drill. But when she went in to polish the teeth, I guess, cause like you can still feel, I guess the glue is probably the bonding glue. Um, she had to go in and polish my back molars. Oh my God. It was so like, it was like I was being electrocuted. And like the one time I, I like literally had to like pull away cause it hurt. And then um, she turned on the cold water and she was like spraying my tooth while she did it. And then it didn't hurt. So if you have sensitive teeth, just have them turn on the water. Cause that scared me. And my heart was like going so fast cause I could feel it. And, but that only happened on my back molars, like the side teeth here didn't hurt. I, she didn't need the water on the front tooth to remove them. So that wasn't a big deal. And then the second thing she needed to do was teeth shaving. Now I know I talked about teeth shaving in my previous video. I only had to get my tooth shaved once right here and she did it a little bit. So it wasn't like a big deal. But this time I went, she had to do it. She had to shave my teeth a lot. So I was like petrified because I was like, oh my God, I'm definitely gonna feel it here because this tooth is so tight. And I have this on video, so I'm gonna insert the clips of her shaving my teeth. So she was like doing it and you can like, if you listen, you can hear the music playing in the background, but if you really listen, you can like hear the teeth being sh like sawed. Oh my God, it, the sound is the worst part, but you could also feel it like, it's not pain but it's like you it's so tight and you can like I don't know how to explain it it's just like a weird feeling to explain it and then my tooth started to bleed here I don't know why it started bleeding and so I like looked in the mirror and you could see there was like a little gap there and a little gap here that was created from the teeth spacing to create room I'm assuming to move that front tooth so the front tooth didn't move because there wasn't enough space for it to move. Even though I have like gaps over here, 
she, I needed more room, so I didn't like that. Oh, you got pretty good space there, so I don't have to. I don't have to even do much in there. Everything is fine. No worries. Turn your fire a little bit. No need to do anything in there. Oh, you're good. Use this one. It's a little tight. Let me bring another device. Am I bleeding? Is that normal? Uh, let me see. It should be. Just a little bit. Oh, this one. It's okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just a little bit of, yeah. Okay. Oh, good. Yeah. This is the one. Let's see. Oh. Can you feel that? So another thing with my new trays, my teeth are hurting so bad. I woke up this morning and my mouth was just like excruciating all back here, over here. When I pop my trays out, my front tooth is so sensitive. I'm gonna do a close up of my teeth. I can't, I used to be able to put my finger up. Look, I can't do it now. So I think that's pretty much all the updates I have for you guys. I know a lot of people ask on my videos, I want an update on Instagram, you guys ask for updates. So I just haven't had much to update you guys on and I had an update and the first thing I did was let me update for my subscribers on YouTube so you guys can see where I'm at. What do you guys think of my teeth so far? If you have Invisalign, how is your journey going? I know a lot of people talk to me on Instagram asking so many questions and even though a lot of the questions I get are repetitive questions and I have answered them but it's just in, like in different videos and I think I have a lot of Invisalign videos so maybe I'll do like a Q&A where I can answer everyone's questions. If you do have any questions, feel free to leave comments below or you can of course message me on Instagram. I have answered every single person that has reached out to me on Instagram and if you do not have my Instagram I will leave the link in the description below. I would appreciate it a lot if you guys subscribe to my channel. I'm almost at 400 subscribers that is so crazy to think about. I just started my channel a little over a year ago and I can't even believe almost 400 people follow me so thank you so much for that. I do plan on doing more videos it's just i've been i i work a full-time job and then and trying to work on my mental health it's been um kind of crazy but so far 2021 has been treating me very well i am very blessed in a lot of ways in my life and i'm not gonna go too much into detail about it but it was a really hard year for me so so excited for this year John and I are planning on buying a house in a few months, so I'm super excited for that. I cannot wait to get out of this house and just 
start a family with him. Everything in my life, our life has calmed down a little bit. Um, I'm excited to start that process. So when that process does come, I will update you guys and take you along that journey with me. I also, I was doing vlogs for a little bit and then I haven't really vlogged a lot because COVID and I don't really leave. Start vlogging again. I wanna see more vlogs, let me know. I will definitely post more vlogs if you wanna see more makeup videos, I can do that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.